we on Wheel Hustle TV, nigga. Uh, introduce yourself. My name is Bo Boy 20. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Man, what's it like growing up in Cleveland, your own word? It's, it's fucked up. Yeah. My own word. Kill it it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. how long you been doing music? Sure, I've been doing music for a hobby since I was a kid. Yeah? Hell yeah. When did you start taking it serious? Shit, I've been taking it serious, but I ain't gonna say I've been taking it serious, because shit, I just, man, so much shit be happening in real life, it really just, I be lightweight brushing it off a lot. All so right. I'm trying to take this shit serious, change my life, change my family life. So when somebody stream your music, man, what can they expect? Some hard ass shit. Hard ass shit, life type shit? Huh? Like, like, like life oh, type of shit? real life, turned up life. Oh, uh, really? Hell yeah. So, I'm giving them the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, how to get some money and some bitches. Already, already. <laughs> you feel me? So what you think, like, you, uh, are you are you hip to this? What you think about all this cryptocurrency and this Bitcoin shit? Like, you fucking with it or you just kind of like, hey, it is what it is type shit? Shit, I want some. Yeah, yeah. I be seeing my nigga do that shit. He in the stock market. That nigga just did some shit and made a hundred thousand in one day off some Dodge coin shit. So yeah, yeah I want some of that hundred thousand dollar day money. Yeah, when you go to my page, I got this new skits I be doing trying to motivate, motivate the street. And that's the whole catch of it. There's more legal money than illegal money. You it know is. what I'm saying? And it's better money because we're going to stay free money. We're going to stay free money, yeah, man. Yeah, hey, but the bowls paved the way. The bowls fade away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 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 in your own words, man, how much is America a hypocrite? That niggas like us, if we get caught with some bowls, we gonna do some time. But it's a white man in in, in California, Oregon, making millions of dollars. Yeah, see, all that shit about to change. This shit like liquor before the prohibition now, and all this shit about to be legal, and I'm still gonna be a bow boy. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, we you was ahead of the game, I was right? Ahead of the game. Four forty eight, nigga, entertainment. So, this so is what, not just entertainment. So what's four forty eight for those that don't know? Uh, that's a whole lot of bowls, whole lot of holes, a whole lot of clothes, and a whole lot. Of boxes already. Feel me? I right, so do you do you want to do you want to sign with a major label? Or do you want to stay independent? Shit, I want to get the most money as possible. Already. So shit, if I gotta stay independent and get the money, I'm cool with that. If a major label wanna fuck with me and give me the money, I'm fucking with that. What do you think is the difference between being independent and a major? Shit, I don't know the difference. So growing up, what kind of music you listen to? Like who influenced you? Like Pimp C, Too Short, fucking with Gucci, you know, Webby, Boosie, all them niggas. I, I like trap music. I'm a trap music nigga, music for the bitches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit. Okay, like who 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 would you want to collaborate like? Whether they underground or a big artist, like who can you see somebody you you going hard and making the streets go crazy with? Drake. Drake? Hell yeah. You trying to get a bag. Man, get a big bag. <laughs> you know what I'm playing? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. need Drake on Don't Lie to Me because this pussy is not free. Already. So a lot of people come to Atlanta and uh, seeking opportunities in the music business. Like, how has your trip been to Atlanta? And uh, like, how do you think um, the music business affects people's career and why they blow up when they come to Atlanta? Shit, it's just the vibe and the culture is just different. I love it every time I come. It's nothing but love, opportunity, and hoes. Definitely. If I come to Cleveland, what clubs you gonna take me to and where we gonna go eat? I want some original Cleveland food so I can't buy nowhere else. Shit, we're gonna get some corned beef, some Polish boys, some motherfucking all all that type shit. Yeah. Corned beef, Whitmore's. Polish boys, Mr. Heroes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take me to the up. We're gonna take them to Whitmore's. All right, what, sure. what strip club you gonna take me to and what regular club you gonna take me to? I'm gonna take you to Secrets. I'm gonna take you to Lido's. I'm gonna take you to District. You know, we gonna turn up. So where you see yourself in a year? Rich as fuck. As long as I keep going, I'm gonna be rich as fuck. All right, Maybe. musically, where you see yourself in five years? Rich as fuck. <laughs> oh, man, it's gonna... Oh, I can't wait. As uh, long as I keep going, oh, I'm gonna be rich as fuck. All right, what can your fans expect next from you? To be rich as fuck. Oh. There's a whole bunch of new hard ass shit. A whole bunch of bow boy shit. A whole bunch of box catch shit. A whole bunch of music for the bitches. Oh yeah, we watching Wheel Hustle TV and we watching Bow Boy 20 and this bitch.